Welcome to Backstage Pass. Welcome. Oh yeah, we should sit up straight. Sit up straight. There we are. <clears throat> All right. We've got some fun tonight. I like fun. Do you like fun, Mr. Wyckoff? <laughs> I think that's part of the reason I married you uh, almost 27 years ago in two days. Wow. 27, 27 years. 27 years ago, you yeah. said yes? I said yes. Partly because I like fun. <laughs> <laughs> and you're fun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> fun is good. Fun I is good. still make her laugh. Hey, Bree. How are you? Speaking of fun. What's up? My friend Bree is very fun. Bree is extremely fun. She is fun. She likes to do all kinds of things and she has um, <laughs> very similar uh, tastes in movies as my husband does. <laughs> Star Wars. Mando, come on. Yeah. And, uh, and if you don't, then no one could be my friend. You can't be my friend. If oh, you don't. <laughs> so not true. So not true. Oh, yeah. Bri, I learned from yeah. you both. Yeah. She learned how to have fun from us both. Yeah. Yes. But you know what? She doesn't just like your movies. She likes mine. She's a big Hamilton fan. Well, okay. There's, what? Let's, let's, let's separate the difference here. <laughs> Bree likes your movies. She loves... Bri? my movie post in the comment section <laughs> how Who you won? like are or you, love are you Hamilton. for me or, or are you against me <laughs> she's, she's she's for you and she's See, for me mando that's what winner. makes her wonderful Whoop. yes strike a pose but you know what i know about brie she's not throwing away her shot <laughs> <laughs> So the, tonight's episode is all about us talking with Brie. <laughs> Welcome to. You want to feel special? Backstage. Then join us. You know, Brie, your yes. backstage pass with us. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. She says she loves Star Wars and <laughs> Hamilton, but Star, Star Wars, Wars was, was first. first. Thank you. True. Booyah! <laughs> oh, what's that move? What is that move? That's the uh, "I'm Amazing" move by Brie White. Oh, that it looked kind of. Hamilton-ish. Okay. <laughs> so, I don't remember that at all. <laughs> so, come on. Let's have some fun tonight. Welcome. Oh, we've got some fun things. Who else, is this up, who else has joined us? Comment below. Yes, we, we know oh, you're there. Neil? Oh, Neil. Hi, Neil. Yeah, let us know uh, where are you from. Yes. Which planet are you from? Um, Mandalorian? Are you from Tatooine? Um, are you for, uh, from the third star Alderaan. to the right? <laughs> <laughs> Which planet in Star Wars would you most likely <laughs> want to live? Isn't that, what that is? What's that Peter Pan third star? Like go to the moon or something and then go third star from the right? Something like that. Hello, hey, Patrice. Patrice. Hey, Kim Dang. Kim Dang. Come on. I'm just going to tell you about oh, Kim Dang right Kim. now. We've got to. Yeah. yeah I can't wait We've for her release. We've got Wonder Woman coming out December 18th. Lady Day. Oh, it's December 18th. I thought it was December 25th. Even better. We get it a week before the actual movie comes December out. 18th. Wonder Woman. And um, yeah, Lady Dang. Kim Dang has yeah. written uh, and uh, uh, recorded an amazing song called Wonder Woman. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, Miss Dang, you might want to put the hey, link Rich. in How there. Hey, Rich. How you doing, Rich? Put the link in the comment section so people can uh, enter your contest and they can um, yes, put in go your ahead and reserve their copy. Um, hey, Rich. Fun to see you there. We Ohio, are excited. I, Ohio representing. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, yes, thank you, Neil, for correcting my wife. I have to do it all the time, so I appreciate the help. What is it? Uh, the quote is the second star on the right. Oh, I was so close. <laughs> second star. Just one star <laughs> off. 500 billion light years yes. off. Yes, well, you know, I'm off to Neverland <laughs> in the wrong direction. I'll be going to Neverland. I'll be just passing Neverland. Looky, looky. Um, so anyway, we actually really do have uh, something <clears throat> to talk about tonight oh. on Backstage Pass. Okay, welcome to Backstage Pass. If, if this is your first time here, you want to tell them about Backstage Pass? No, you can go for it. Okay. 
this is Backstage Pass. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. And this is what we do. We start we a conversation. Have a lot of fun. We take you kind of backstage behind the veil, behind the curtain to have a conversation with your master creator who's yeah. just loving having create create conversations if I can talk <laughs> conversation <laughs> with you and so we start it we have a chat and our prayer is that when we leave off and say toodaloo that you will stay behind with your master creator and continue to chat about whatever you want about this conversation that we're starting or about any other conversation because he loves to talk with you you are his VIP VIP very VIP. important person very important person and um, so tonight, we're going to talk about signs that make you wonder. Oh, wow. And so... <laughs> went to the East Coast. <laughs> I know. I don't know why I did that. But um, it just seemed to be, to be fun. Hey, Robbie. Um, and so we're going to talk about signs that make you wonder. And so um, we have some really fun signs that yeah. we have experienced. Um, if, you can, you, if you've experienced any, please comment. Yeah. Um, Put them in the comment section. Short comments of uh, what what uh, supernatural stuff you've encountered. Yeah. Um, it's yeah. always fun when you're, when, when God starts playing with his children oh, and uh, he starts amazing. showing off. I love when he shows off. He does. Um, I'm going to start with Hebrews 2, 4. Um, it says, God also testifying with them both by signs and wonders and by various miracles and by gifts of the Holy Spirit, according to his own, own will. will. Oh, it's the will of God. <laughs> signs and wonders and miracles and gifts is the will of God. And um, so when we were first entering into uh, all things spiritual, yeah, because really we didn't stepping start there. into Christianity, yeah, we didn't start and there. discovering the power of the Holy Spirit, which I've, I've mentioned before that we had no gr real grid for. Not um, a clue. We started to have really amazing experiences, and we have we have a, a whole episode. I think maybe even two on testimony. So oh, you yeah. go There's back and read some news. of those testimonies. But um, tonight we're going to go like for the big wow factor. So um, wow. let's start with a big wow factor story, Bray. Okay. So, um, God, it was what, like 10 years ago now? No, maybe eight years. Oh, no. I think it was 10? every bit of 10. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So a decade ago, or so makes no difference this happened at a certain time <laughs> in our past there you go <laughs> and uh we were sitting out on our deck uh you guys have probably seen many pictures of our sunsets and sunrises and you know out on our deck outside and uh we were sitting uh th there's a there's a, a window that goes into our living room area and we we're sitting right close to it nestled up close um and just similar like this, Jill mm -hmm. was angled this way. I was angled this way. We have um, a window behind us. We have a window behind us. So just and imagine then three open sides. And then three open sides uh, and then an enclosed uh, roof area. So um, the only open areas are everything that we can see. So Jill's looking at one angle so she can see this and that. And I'm looking at this angle and see this and this. And so nothing can get through this area without us seeing it. Um, so I was reading um, and pondering. I remember as I was reading this book, I can't even remember what the book was, but uh, it was talking about the Holy Spirit. And I remember just kind of looking up and just kind of thinking about like somebody just dropped a bomb about the Holy Spirit, like this kind of, you know, a revelatory yeah. thought. Major revelation. And I'm just kind of just looking up, looking out into the, the, the area and just kind of pondering. And going, wow, that is crazy and awesome. And, you know, is this true? And at the same time. And then Jill had her. At the same time, because we're all just learning. You know, we are learning about the Holy Spirit. This is a new discovery to us. And so at the same time, while he's sitting there and I'm sitting here, I'm looking back through journals that I've written my dreams. And I have very, very vivid dreams. Yes, and I does. had discovered that God is is into these dreams and he's giving me these dreams and i had looked at one particular dream that i had written down and i thought i kind of had a revelation about it but i didn't and at the, so at the same time i was reading about this dream and all of a sudden i got a revelation from the holy spirit about the meaning of this dream and i went 
wow. in my head, I'm like, oh my God, like literally, I just got, I just got this whole revelation of what God is telling me. Yeah. I'm like, Holy Spirit, this is you. So I'm thinking Holy Spirit, he's thinking Holy Spirit, and all of a sudden, boom, out of the window, <laughs> behind us, behind us, in between us, <laughs> lies this huge dove. dove. And I am saying it came from the window. It, it yeah. literally manifested through, boom, through the window. And now, there's the imprint. Yeah. There's an imprint of the dove. You can see the feathers, right? And the body and the and head. And the body and the head. <clears throat> it, it didn't fly on it, the deck. Like I said, we had every angle covered and we were looking out. We were oh. kind of both kind of in awe of like the Holy Spirit. So it wasn't like we were tucked in our books or something like this. We were up looking yeah. consciously going, wow, it just had this revelatory thing. And then we just got, I mean... We got scared because because it was a loud bam bam right behind us. So we're like flinching, and it flew out right between us, and we're just like. And I'm like, oh, did like, that just happen? Did it just did this just like really happen? Because if if it had flown onto the porch, we would have seen it. It would have flown yeah. right between yeah. us, right? Yeah. At such a rate of speed, this large dove, yeah. 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 as to make us go, oh. It's flying. Oh, poor thing flew into the window. Yeah. It didn't fly into the window. And I investigated it flew this. out. Because I'm like looking around like, did you see something? I mean, I'm, I'm asking her, did you see anything from your angle? No, I didn't see anything. And I'm like, can't come from the roof. Nope. Can't come from the side. I mean, you know, we, we had everything covered. So yeah. I'm like, you can't miss this huge dove flying in. I mean, doves aren't, aren't uh, sneaky creatures. No. And um, it was a big one. Too. And, and uh, just... so to come like right behind us. Um, it, it's like, it just kind of, it's, it, yeah, it just manifested and it shot was, out. It was like an exclamation mark for me. And yeah. I didn't know because it was like, I'm in this thing, getting this revelation about my dream. And I'm thinking, oh, God, you were just telling me without a doubt, boom, exclamation mark. That's it. I didn't even know yet that Bray was also having a Holy Spirit revelation. Yeah, so we were we both notes. having... A Holy Spirit revelation, yeah. and God said, "Yes, you got it. <laughs> yes, you got it." So it's not something you know we, we we don't we didn't you know we had the imprint up there and we took pictures of it, but uh, you know it wasn't something we turned into worshiping uh, right. the dove and, no. the, and the imprint. No, we worship God. Yes, because he's we, just we praised him. He's just he crazy is fun like that. Crazy, and, and we were just blown away. Yeah. I mean, this is the stuff where you look in when you're reading the Bible and I'm like, God's crazy because he, he, you know, he parted the Red Sea. I mean, the whole sea he parted. Right. Um, he, he lit a bush on fire that didn't burn up, you know, the burning bush. He made a donkey talk. He made a donkey talk. I mean, these things we read about. Money and fish. And as Christians, <laughs> we believe, right? We sit there and we go, I believe the Bible is yeah. real. But how hard is it for us to get stretched to believe that this stuff can happen now? And right. these are the things that we would question. These are the things we started pursuing, going, God, you're that real? Then we want to see uh, your, the, the realness of these miracles. We want to start seeing. And we started asking, God, we want to start seeing this stuff. Yeah. This is amazing. And we yeah. did. We started seeing a lot of things. We did. I remember when we went to the Philippines and we're talking to the pastors in Philippines who were telling us some incredible stories yeah. as well. Oh. And, uh, you know, them, it's like no plan B. So when they need money and a rat, a rat delivers, delivers the money, the money. Um, you know. Yeah, it was like, the you know, the coin <laughs> in the fish's mouth. It was like a rat delivering them the <laughs> money they needed to pay their taxes. It was crazy. I know. You just can't make this stuff up. And so, you yeah. know, we don't. We don't, uh, like you say, we don't worship the signs and wonders. Yeah, we worship the one who, who causes those signs. But we can't wonders. anticipate them. Yeah. Because God moves in such in such ways. Um, okay, so there was another there was another one with um, the orbs. Talk about the orbs. Yeah, okay. So, again, this is all very new to us. <laughs> um, I did not know what I was Welcome seeing. Welcome to the new show. So, right? <laughs> Welcome to the new age. <laughs> to the new age. <laughs> All right, sorry, I couldn't help myself. Welcome um, to the new age. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. So, 
<laughs> it's a song. I don't know. I my head uh, goes off in songs. It's like that song, the third star from the right. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> So anyway, I'm on the deck again. I'm on the deck. And I honestly, I don't remember what happened before. I'm, I'm guessing I was praying. I don't know. I just, I don't remember because I lost everything once I saw what I saw. What I saw was um, orbs. They're just these round glowing orbs. And they looked like crystal. And so people have asked me, like, a lot of times I put orbs in my paintings, as you can see here. It's one of Jill's um, originals. Because I, I actually saw them. Now, I'm not saying I had a vision, I closed my eyes. I saw them in front of my face, as real as can be. They were there. And <laughs> they were like, they were such pure crystal kind of orbs and they were that they were they were shining so bright as they were spinning that it was actually like almost making my eyes water yeah and as they were spinning each one had a different dance so one might have been spinning this way one might have been spinning this way one might have been going they each they had with different, those sound effects well you know, um, I, I'm just trying to explain it like the best I can. Um, they each had their own movement. They were different sizes, but they were all made of the same substance, but they were different sizes and they each danced to their own beat, if you will. Yeah. And the, the way I've described it is if giggles had form, oh, yeah. this would be it because they were so happy. They were so happy and they were dancing in front of me Nicolina and they were as real as can be. And I knew I was seeing something otherworldly. I knew I was seeing something that I couldn't describe, but I knew they were some sort of heavenly joy. And, um, and the phone rang and I turned and then I turned back and they were gone. And I, I've always um, been sad that I turned away because I think if I were to see them again, I would have wanted to put my hand out and see if maybe one would have landed in, in my hand. I've never seen them again. And, um, but they were as, as real as real can be. It was yeah. not a vision, fully awake, eyes wide open. And there they were all dancing in front of me. And I, I don't know why God allowed me to see it, but I do know that they were absolute joy and that's why i have often put them in my paintings it's that spiritual connection um that that i have with papa that's just yeah. joy as a matter of fact look at i've got a bracelet from lady jang that says joy and that's what these were they were absolute laughter yeah and joy and uh and that was so much fun I, and I, but again i haven't seen them since they got the joy, 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 joy. Yeah, there Down goes the song. Down there goes the song. My heart. Okay, Down here's another thing. Heart. Here's another thing. Crazy as it seems. I don't know why we were getting all these manifestations, quite honestly, but um, when we were first going to the Awakening Church and learning about the Holy Spirit, and I would go in and praise, my hands would go up and I would praise and worship God, and they would come down and they'd be covered with what I'm calling diamond dust, not gold dust, but diamond dust. So much sparkles all over my hand. It was ridiculous. And it was, and it was like, people were saying, do you have sparkles on your makeup? Are you touching your face? And I would be like, here are my hands. I'd go in and wash my hands. Here are my hands. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd go clean. wash your hands, come back. I want to see your hands. Perfectly She's shown clean. to me and I'm like, okay, there's nothing, nothing, nothing. And I'm like watching her. Do not touch anything. And then I praise. And I mean, I'm, I'm worshiping. I'm not just like, I'm lifting my hand so I could see gold dust or diamond dust. I'm worshiping. And I come back down and they are covered. Covered. <laughs> covered. This just... went on for what, like six months or something? Yeah, it was it a went while. on for a real long time. And, you know, ever since I was a little girl, I've loved sparkles. <laughs> I've loved sparkles since I was a little girl. I just, and I still do, I love everything that sparkles. My eyes just go, ooh. And I feel like God was just giving me kisses. It was like, yes, baby, I see you. I, I, I just, I was getting kissed by God. Um, God. It was that. It was as simple as that. And you know what? Eventually, it did go away, and it didn't come back. And I, and I realized, 
I think it's because God didn't want me to get so um, yeah, caught, caught up, up in, in the yeah. manifestation. Yeah, the right? season had fun. But get caught up in Him, yeah. and that's what that's what it's all about. It's to draw us to Him. It's to um, you know we're just in awe, right? Yeah. Acts Acts two forty three. Everyone kept feeling a sense of awe. And many wonders and signs were taking place through the apostles. It's a sense of awe. Yeah. And it's like that's our God. Remember, we can do anything. Remember, we we saw um, we saw uh, Darren Wilson's uh, finger of God. Yes. Hmm. Uh, and we're just like, what? I mean, just crazy stuff to watch on video. Yeah. And and I'm I'm always you know skeptic. I'm I'm not the one that just kind of goes with it and go just like yeah, I have faith and and believe blindly. I'm like. Well, I want to see that with my own naked eyes. I don't want to see a video because I'm thinking, you know, magician. Did they do something? They kind of right? slide a hand, whatever. So I'm like, okay, one of the guys I filmed was Joshua Mills. I'd never seen him, heard of him before. And this is the gold dust guy. Yeah. So he just get, you know, he do, he just, as he's preaching, get gold dust all over him. And I'm watching this video and I'm like, he is covered. Like, and I'm like, this is radical. Well, he turns up to be speaking at a local church uh, after we watch this. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, we are definitely going because I want to see Gold Boy. <laughs> and, um, and I got there and, I, you know, I didn't, I don't know what he said. I didn't care. All it was, my, I couldn't even let he my was eyes. preaching the I, word of God. He was, but I couldn't let my eyes go down. I didn't even want to blink because I wanted to see mm -hmm. this gold appear. And all of a sudden, it took, you know, a good 30 minutes or so. I, I thought, did I just see something sparkle? Is there something on his hair? When he turned, and then I'm like, Joe, do you see it? Yeah. <laughs> do you see it? And all yeah, of a sudden, like, and then all of a sudden, it just gets bigger and bigger and, and splotchier and like all, and I'm like, on his shoulders. OMG. Right? This is amazing. We saw him years later, too, at the Fire and Glory. Um, it was his birthday, yeah. and uh, gold dust appeared on his <laughs> birthday <okay>. cake. <laughs> just kind of showered it and uh this guy you know when he first encountered uh this gold dust appearing uh was in his apartment with his wife it yeah. just literally covered the entire apartment i mean under sheets like yeah, you go in, in the, the cupboard, in the cupboard and they would be it just gold filled in sheets and they ended up putting them in baggies and shipping mailing all shipping all over, the, all over, all over the, world the world to bless people and yeah and uh but uh and then but he had actually ministry. prayed to see i think he had prayed to see yeah 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 he has a crazy testimony and um, and uh but it's you know radical and then you hang out with people like the dues uh come on cat and bill dunamis mm -hmm. uh and you know they're doing sign you know seeing signs and wonders and the healing breakthrough all over the world and including jill um uh, yeah. carol uh do and bill do uh yeah. before you know before carol passed away um and and went home Mm -hmm. She uh, prayed for Jill and her back straightened. Yeah, scoliosis, um, scoliosis completely, healed. completely healed. Doctor verified mm -hmm. with x-rays before and after. Mm -hmm. So uh, these are the things I love. Yeah. I get so, you know, just They stoked. follow those who believe. Yeah. And um, if, if you believe in God, um, don't put him in a box. Mm -hmm. don't, don't make him um, human size or you know what you can imagine him doing i think that's this is this is the whole point of this yeah this thing we want to up your your faith level um for the majesty and the magnitude of your father and when you see these kinds of things that he is perfectly capable of and that he does actually all the time yeah then all the things around you that seem so big then become so small because then your god you realize how big he is He's and he he everything. is big and he he can handle everything um and then some and he can give you those little kisses yeah. that are just so special that we didn't ask for um although i do invite him now yeah you know and say lord you know give me eyes to see give me ears to hear um, you know, I want to see you. I want to uh, hear you in new ways. So we asked for it now, but we actually didn't ask for it. We didn't know to ask for it, quite honestly. Yeah. We were just, we, we were just up. like astounded. Our hearts that, were open to yeah, it. I think that's yeah. what it is. We were Our like little kids, I think, you know, yeah. we're just like, 
the Bible says it's true. Nobody ever talked to us about this. So let yeah. it be, let it be. And yeah. so these are some of the things. Um, these are our personal experiences. Yeah. And what I'm saying is God's going to have personal experiences with you. And sometimes, uh, you know, people are, 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 you know, when Jill and I were talking about this the other day, it was like, okay, people, you know, can believe in signs and wonders, but then it's okay if people don't. There's some people that are very, um, uh, you know, just uh, bra and, brainy, and, analytical, uh, and they're just studying scripture and, and they believe wholeheartedly in the scripture, but they're not chasing after or, or needing a miracle to verify what they already believe. And, and so, you know, that's okay. Wherever we're at in our belief structure, you know, all of our focus is on, we believe in Christ, Jesus, right. who rose from the dead, who, who went to the cross for us and died for us to give us a way to get to heaven. And uh, it was his blood shed for us that covers, right. you know, all of our sins, all of our wrongdoings. And, it, and, and he paid the price. We didn't have to do anything. It's a free gift. Right. And, uh, but so, and then, and that's the most important thing. That's the most that important is the most, thing. There was so much more to discover yeah. about God, um, obviously through his word and through experience with him. Um, the most important thing to discover is that he is there for you, yeah. that he sees you, that he loves you so much. Like Bray said, yeah. that he sent his son to die for you. That is the most important thing. That's Everything it. else is gravy, baby. Yeah, it gravy, really is. baby. It's gravy, baby. Um, <laughs> but we get to live in the gravy. Yeah. We get to live in that, you it's, know, which yeah. is cool. Which uh, you is know, really and cool. signs and wonders will follow those who believe. Right. Right. So uh, wherever you go, signs and wonders will happen. Whether sometimes you don't you don't know that they're happening, but they're happening. It could be. God protected you from a car accident. Right. And we, these are the things we can't see, but the signs and wonders protection. are following those who believe. Right. And and then there's the visible stuff where you can actually see things with your eyes. Then there's the visions. You know, a lot of times we 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 discount visions, but God gave yeah. tons of visions in the Bible. Yeah. You know, look at Solomon getting wisdom. Well, and God gave me. It's funny. I don't know. Maybe I'll share this right now, oh. uh, really quickly. Come on. Um, when we went to see Joshua Mills, we were there quite early, and the the worship team was kind of warming up. And again, this is all new to me, right? So I just closed my eyes. I was taken. I was taken back in a vision, um, so clearly to a moment in my life years and years prior where I had never felt so alone and I didn't know what the future held for me. And I was making a major decision and it was, I was literally out. Um, this really happened. I was in the middle of a courtyard and it was in the middle of the night and I could feel the dampness in my feet. And I was just uh, lamenting and feeling very alone and wondering about my future for me and, and my children. I was taken back to that exact moment. I could smell the air. I could feel the dampness mm. of the dew on my feet. Yep. I could, everything, I was there. Now, I hadn't been thinking about that. It's been years, so I had not been thinking about it. He took me right there, and I actually felt for that moment everything I felt that I had no idea about my future, the future yeah. of my children. Um, my whole life was going to change. And I had never felt lonelier in my life. I was there. And he said, turn around. And I turned to the left. And I didn't even get all the way around. Jesus was standing right next to me. Yeah. He was standing right was next to me. And I realized I had never been alone. And I will tell you people, I did not know him at that time. Yeah. I didn't really know him at that time. He was there. And he showed me. He was always there when I was feeling the most lonely and, and deserted and unsure of my future. He showed me, he was like literally shoulder to shoulder with me right there. And then I came back to where I was in that, in that meeting and I was just like shaking and I did open my journal and there was gold dust. <laughs> yeah. um, and, uh, but that dust. was a very, very real real experience for yeah. me i could smell it i could feel it awesome. um and he drove that point home baby you've never been alone never. you've never been alone i was there and i saw the end from the beginning i saw where you would be all these years later and he still reminds me of that even now as i think about where i was 
and where I am now. Yeah. He always knew I'd be sitting here, you know? It's just wild, and it's beautiful, and it's wonderful, and, and it's him. I think it's the Holy Spirit bringing that up, Jill, because I think right now, everyone that's watching this right now, I think the Lord's bringing to you memories of pain that you went through or, or a circumstance where you felt hopeless, or even, even now if you feel hopeless, that he's asking you to yeah. turn around. Um, where you're looking ahead and feeling alone, he's saying, turn around. And as you turn, you're going to see him, that he's there with you. And we just bless you in this, yeah. in this backstage pass with him. This backstage, we want you to stay backstage with him as we close right now. Yeah. And um, we're excited to hear testimonies and uh, keep posting uh, any of your encounters that you've had. Um, because these encounters are testimonies of of who, not not us. It's it's testimonies for God. Yeah. And and we're bragging about Him, and He loves when we brag about Him. He's so amazing. And um, yeah. so we bless you guys yeah. in the name of the Lord, and uh, to have supernatural encounters um, wherever you go, and that your eyes. Uh, we we pray for eyes to see and ears to hear uh, what the Spirit is doing in Jesus' name. Yeah. Love you guys. We'll see you next Love week. You. We'll be in Vegas. We'll be bringing you a special backstage pass from Las, Live from Las, Las Vegas. Vegas. Good night, all.